Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teaches Noob. Today I have with me Bianca. It's Booster Gold time. And this would be our 201st lesson. Although we're recording this well before I do that, because I'm going to have a bunch of videos in the can by the time I reach that. But if you yes. want to rub it in that for me it's the 201st, not the 200. Hear his voice, guys. Hear his voice. Well, 200 is going to be a stream, all right? You know that. Yank. But yeah, Booster Gold, and tell people where we left off with Booster. If you remember. The moment I drink water. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so uh, it's around the time uh, Ted Cord dies. You have the whole thing about Booster Gold, slight origin, monologue, whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, he tries to like, you know, I need him It's back. his time to shine. And it's my then... time. No, well, beforehand, it's it's my time to shine. Whatever. Same thing. And then, um, shoot. What was that guy's Rip name? Hunter, Rip, Rip Hunter. Rip Hunter was like, hey, uh, timelines changed everywhere. You got to go fix it. And so he sends Booster Gold to these many times lines, timelines to try and fix every one of them. And one of them was like, okay, um, Black Canary is not supposed to be the leader of the Justice League. It's supposed to be Barbara Gordon. So you have to make sure she doesn't get shot in the spine. And so he tries and tries and tries and she's still getting shot and he's failing every single time. I'm crying on the inside. And, and, then, Rip like, said, and, yep, and then Rip said, uh, Booster, I lied. I wanted to make it clear to you, this is solidified time. You can't change solidified time, no matter how hard you try. Honestly, I would love that if that was explained in the new DCU, solidified time versus something that can be changed. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's more like the past. Now, to, to be fair, we then, right after that said, we then introduced to this blue beetle of the future who has a device that can actually make time, solidifying time malleable. So what happens? Booster and his group of blue beetles go back and actually save Ted Cord. Hi, Snowflake. Have you come to join me? Aww. No one can see him, though. Yeah. She, when she opens the door, she gives me this stare. It's like, what are you doing? Like, oh, you're doing something right now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we're about to see, and so that's where we left off, so we're picking up, and this arc has two issues. The first and last issue are tying in the prior time-related stories. In this case, Zero Hour. The Crisis in Time, which was one of those times where they did a bunch of zero issues. Should zero and issues exist? That should be a discussion. Well, the joke was, of course, it's zero hours, zero issues. But does zero hours exist? <laughs> but yeah, so let's go in. You're like, you're supposed to be dead. And see, then, like, like, okay, uh, I'm supposed to be what now? You're supposed to be dead, but you are needed. You are destined to assist Booster Gold in his quest to finish repairing a time stream. Without your help, he will fail, leaving my future to be eaten away by the spawn of Mr. Mine. Mr. Oh, man, please tell me I'm not going to have to run into that monster again. You're worried about a little worm with glasses? He got a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. okay, so you're my successor, Ted, and yet you fight without the scarab? I was always more of a science guy. Magic was never my thing. Actually, the, the scarab isn't magical. What? What? I found it. It fused itself onto my spine. He created his armor shell, but it's actually alien technology. <laughs> alien? Sounds like a parasite. If that's true, we need to get it off. No, it's all, it's all good. I'm okay with it now. It actually helped me do a lot to help people. And, and I may, are you okay, kid? I'm sorry, Mr. Card. I just, uh, do you see, see them, or am I still dizzy from this time jumping? Justice Society is dead. Uh, this is around the time when Hal Jordan was Parallax. Uh, our man, Dr. Midnight, the Atom, Dr. Fate. The old men won't get in the way of our plans, Parallax. And Alan Scott extent? I left him alone. I don't like you wanted. Though so if we continue to wipe out time from the end of the beginning, I must ask why bother. Because I want Alan there to see me remolding the universe in my image. I want him to know how far successor has surpassed him. 
I want them to feel fear. I want the entire universe to feel fi Ooh! Was that? <laughs> Parallax and Extant. Time traveling deviant. You think they saw, saw us? We're five grown men dressed in bright colors inside a clear plastic bubble set against a rainbow background. I may. They saw us. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant! Is it like, ooh! Of course, leading to a bit where the time bubble starting to break apart and everything. Um, oh, yeah, uh, like, I rear-ended Barry Allen just the other. You rear-ended Barry Allen. Oh, grow up! <laughs> but they but they do a nice fight going on and everything. They get back in the time bubble. They get out of there. And then it's like, oh, we got to get back. Nat's already the, We already know the events play out properly. It's a, it's a not about, you know, time traveling and everything and how... You get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Yeah, time is, it, uh, it already happened. So things are already resolved. We just met them in the middle of things. Okay. But, but yeah, now they're back in the year 2462. It's today. It's that day. What day? The day he threw the game. It turned out his father had asked him to do, you know, to do all this. And he said, I should go talk to myself right now. Warn the younger me that this is the game where the officials finally caught me. If I don't throw this game, if I just play it straight, the scandal that cost me my career never happens. That means I don't get that job at the Space Museum. I don't run away from this time period to the past and try and recapture the glory I once had. I'd be the football pro I was always meant to be. But then you never become Booster Gold. You're talking about erasing everything good you've done since then. But it's just... It's not just erasing the mistake that ruined my career, Ted. It's about so much more than that. Mikey, it's about my sister. All right. What are you doing here, Michelle? I'm sh I'm here to make sure you don't listen to Dad. What, what are you talking about? I found the gambling slips, Mikey. I know what you two have been doing. Stay out of it, Michelle. He's using you. He's using you just like he used Mom. I said stay out of it. Please don't throw it all away. He's never going to love you, no matter how badly you want it to, you know, no matter how much money you make him. A few months after I went back in time, Michelle followed me. She put on a costume and called herself Gold Star. She wanted to be like her big brother. It wasn't your fault she died. If I'd never become Booster Gold, she wouldn't have followed me back. She'd still be alive. And we have to, and we have to do it. We have to stop you from throwing that, the game before you throw the game. What, am I missing something here? What happens to you? If I don't become Mr. Gold, I never meet you, Ted. I never save you. You've done more than enough. Don't worry about me. Let's go save your sister while we still can. Hey, guys. I, it's, he says the, to, the time sphere is totally irre, irreparable. I think we're stranded here. No, Jaime, that's it. That's what. Rip Hunter told me I couldn't change history, but I just did. I saved you seconds before you were supposed to die. I could do the same for Michelle. Uh, but, yeah, basically they're trying to figure out, you know, to use the other... Um, this other time sphere, one that he would eventually use. But then, uh oh, a bunch of security drones, including Skeets. Hmm. But as soon as they jump in there, oh, as they're transporting away, because they have to get out of there, all of a sudden they're starting to turn into Omax. Everything starts to shift for a moment. Time is solidifying around us, stream converging on each other. Try to hold on. We're almost there. Soon they're there. They dr they're about ready to. Uh, Everyone okay? I'm fine. Okay, here. So, yeah, then we lead to a nice moment where, um, like, it's not fair, but I can understand why it's necessary to prevent any, because they're going to have to have their minds wiped and necessary to prevent any further disruptions in time. Let's not think of this as a goodbye, Ted. After all, uh, I'm told we're, we have a great friendship ahead of us. One of the best, Dan. Just try to remember to go easy on me that first year of school, okay? Never. Right. Right. We, can't, we can't know each other. But I have so many questions. You'll be fine without me. In my experience, it's the man that makes the alien weaponry, high-powered battle suits, and energy blasters. Not the other way around. And from where I'm standing, I say that Scarab is in very good hands. Thank you. This was my honor, Mr. Cord, sir. It's Ted, Jaime. You can always call me Ted. And I'd be honored to call you the Blue Beetle. I love this! This gives a, you know, accolades to, to and to um Jaime. Granted it's in the booster book, not in his own book, but still. But yeah, then they're and they're ready to be dropped off. And um but as they're there where Rip is, 
They make their way out, and oh dear, oh Max, uh, this can't be it. It has to be Parallax and X Stand. Zero Hour isn't over yet. I don't think this is about Zero Hour, Michael. I think it's about me. So yeah, they screwed up. Of course. Turned out that bl- uh, that blue beetle. Change. Turned out that blue beetle. He was full of it. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're seeing Rip with Daniel Carter, Carter Booster, and um, Rose Levin, Booster's ancestors. I really didn't want to get dragged into this Save the Universe stuff again, Rip. I, w- I was right, wasn't I? Booster Gold isn't the moronic ass clown everyone thinks he is. You are correct, Miss Levin. Technically speaking, Booster Gold is not an ass clown. He is, however, the reason history is changing. It's a time storm. What did Booster do? He went back into the past and saved the life of Ted Cord without considering the consequences. Mr. Hunter, if I may, he was acting as anyone with a brave heart might. He risked everything to rescue his friend, and everything has come unhinged. To, and the present has completely changed. I fabricated a new supernova and uniform. We have to. If I'm putting on the cape, if putting on the cape involves me being bait for another reality-eating moss, I'm out. I'm doing this for your own good, Daniel. You and the woman will someday be the mother of your, and, and, and the woman who will be the mother of your children. I hope you're not talking about me. I only wanted to be a real reporter. I only wanted a story. You've got one, Miss Lovett. The story how, how Booster Gold destroyed the universe. Oh, dear. Dealing with a bunch of Omex. Oops. Oops. We've got a thousand robots trying to kill us. And all you can say is, oops. They're not robots. What? They're not robots. They're OMAX. What's an OMAX? Observational metahuman activity constructs. That sounds so much better. Their humans have been infected with a nanovirus that transforms them into Max Lord's personal hero hunters. When you saved Max and saved me from Max, I saw we stopped the what did you call it? OMAX project. After you died, this that's what we eventually did. Batman and I shut down the Brother Ice satellite, controlling them over a year ago. Did we go back in t- time too far? Not according to the clock in Rip's time lab, and his clocks are always right. We're in the present, minutes after I left to get you. But saying you and but saving you obviously changed history. That's enough hand holding. Ted, what are you doing? You can't fly. No, but she can. The bug. Like I signaled <laughs> it as we, get, we came back. I lost one when I was tracking down Max. Another at his creepy castle. This bug I kept in a sub basement under Court Industries for emergencies in my beetle cave. Beetle cave? You have a beetle cave? Well, technically I've been using it as a storage. What can I say? Before all this, business was slow. Listen, I've gone against these Omex before. They're not going to stop until we're dead. Ha! That and that's providing get inside. Crick! You are saying? All right, just hang on, type booster, old buddy. Hey, Max's M.O. seems to be hijacking, right? First, he took control of the Just League. Then Checkmate. Then people by transforming the, these Omex. But he's doing the last one with several different kinds of tech, including some appropriated from Cord industry. Meaning if I, I can crack into it just enough to do this. Wow, that did absolutely nothing. Just wait and you'll see. There's nothing of interest here. I'm just another Omex. Moving along. Again, I love the banter between these two, don't you? Yes. Doesn't well, that's the tongue. Doesn't it remind you back when we were doing the super bites up? But this feels like less of a them being clowns. <laughs> it's like it's the same vibe, but they're both more mature now. Would you agree with that? Yeah. What happened to the other ble- beetles again? Okay. Um, well, the only other beetle... Okay, they were all sent back. They were all sent back to their own time. Uh, yeah, that's why I said they were all sent back to their own time. But yeah, we see a bunch of heroes have already just been killed off. Dr. Midnight, um, Black Lightning, Lightning and Thunder, Nightwing, Cyborg, Black Canary, Hot Girl, now um, Kyle. Another weapon to add to my collection. Thank you, Brother I. Who's next? Protocol, truth, and justice entering hour 60. Protocol, truth, and justice demand defined as the elimination of all Amazons. Protocol, truth, and justice completed. So in other words, all the Amazons are dead. What the freak? No. Yep, no more Wonder Woman. How dare you. (laughs) 
You're really getting more into doing the vo your voices. My voice. Yes, your voice. <laughs> oh, yes, Macy things are really going to hell. So they decided to stop off at the old embassy, former UK embassy of the Just League International. And they go in through the, um, through there, and we soon meet up when it's one of their old allies. Catherine, Catherine Carbert, bonjour, the League's old liaison. It's I mean, it's us. It's Booster and Beetle. We received your distress signal on the old JLI communication line. We're your friends, Catherine. We're here to help. One does not exactly know who to trust these days. I was running the museum in the former embassy when the first wave of Omex swept over, swept over London. What happened? What do you mean, what happened? How could you not know? Oh, geez. Oh, yeah. So many of them are dead. Oh, don't know. That's normal. <laughs> ah. Well, many are me. Oh, geez. Alfred got turned into an Omec and killed Bruce. No. Even Black Adam is dead. Uh, who's Is that a short person or is that a little kid? Oh, no, that, that, that's Professor Psycho. Oh, I'm like, oh, is that Professor Psycho? I don't know. Well, if I Arkham Asylum it. got wiped out. And turns out Max is still controlling Superman's mind. That was the reason why Wonder Woman snapped his neck. <laughs> oh, and it turns out, yeah, Blue Beetle is, or is actually Black Beetle. And he is very much evil. Oh. As he meets up with um, Bo um, Booster's dad. But it turns out, though, Catherine's also been you know, infected by the Omax. Kitty. Yep, Kitty. Um, he was a. Uh, do you remember a guy who called himself Beef and Beef and, and Beef Eater? Uh, he was a pallbearer at my funeral. Don't ask. That's his power baton. So they start using it to fight off on the Omac, but uh, but they do get a little help from Hawkman and Green Arrow. They're the resistance. Welcome to the resistance, and they say there's no bipartisan teamwork these days. <laughs> Meanwhile, vanishing point, you see um, super, you know, Ted's dad and Booster's dad and um, Black Beetle show up, and turns out they're working with the Sparrow, um, um, Per Degaton, and Ultra Humanite. And they're calling themselves the Time Stealers. Mm hmm. Booster and, Blue, and Beetle versus Superman. Time. Yep. But yeah, so. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is very good. It is. On. On, on. But changes to the past. Well, you ever see that episode of The Simpsons where Homer is thrown back to prehistoric time and he steps on a bug? The entire timeline of human history changes and it ends up raining donuts. I wish it was raining donuts here. Mm, donuts. <laughs> so yeah, they're meeting up with um with I mean obviously Green Arrow and Hawkman, and they're basically um oh yeah, how did the league ever deal with these guys? How did our league de deal with Guy Gardner? Was Batman? Canary once mm -hmm. told me Batman was actually scared to get between the, these two. Ha! Hilarious. Yep. But yeah, they're just bickering a bit, and then um, on. You, you have to, you have to do this all the time. What? That everyone think we're still the idiots we used to be? I mean, the idiots they thought we were. Rip says it's to protect my cover. I don't know if I can take this, especially from a guy dressed like a big bird. And, hey, they can't think we're total morons. I mean, I, I mean, if they're preparing to take the fight back to Max, I'm sure a Hawkman and Green Arrow would only invite the best of the best into their freedom fighters. Blue Beetle, Booster Gold, for, uh, and welcome to the re Resistance. Anthro, the first boy on Earth, time shifted. Wild Dog, Panza, best of the best. We are so dead. No, wild Dog. Oh, yep, and, costume. And Panza's the one who had her head her head knocked off by Superboy Prime. Oh, is she eating tuna? Girl, yep. that has so much mercury. You have to be careful. Yep. Uh, you know how to use an AA-52 machine gun gold? Turn them, Guess not. <laughs> how many times do I have to tell you guys don't keep the guns loaded? And what happens if a squad of Omex find us? 
Are your glue arrows going to save the day? My <laughs> arrows never miss their target. Wild Dog, on the other hand, usually obliterates everything within a 10-foot radius. It's a gift. Booster, you, bo you, Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, you are on the Justice League. And you're Anthro. Yes, you know Anthro. Anthro the Ventures, becoming famous. Actually, it's on your jacket. A lot. Don't mind the cape boy. He wants fame in this messed up world for some stupid reason. Uh, um, me? I just w I want to claw out the eyes of the guy who turned me into this animal, Max Lord. Vance's real name is... And basically, this is um, him through... Jeff Johns through this, actually giving some explanation to Panza's origins in, in retrospect that we never got before. Oh, cool. Yep. And it turns out Max had taken part of the group known as the Wildebeest Society. So, in other words, her creation was technically responsible by Max. Hmm. Uh, do it. Kill him as he's holding on to um, Wildcat. Kill him. My mind can make him do anything but kill. Even Superman's willpower will eventually break. Jordan's didn't, and didn't brother I. The Omax handled Al Jordan. I wanted to handle the Justice League of America personally. I was hoping to get some satisfaction after destroying the members who refused to join the league I ran, when I ran it. You will kill him for me, Superman. Soon. All right. Are you picking Are you picking it up, Skeet? Yes, Dr. Hunter. It is Michael's distress signal. See, I see if you can lock on. I'm sorry to interrupt, but when am I going home? As soon as you have your story, Miss Levin, as soon as it's safe. Because Miss Levin and I are the ones who will plant the seeds to Booster Gold's family tree. That's why I brought you here. You can't be erased inside my time sphere. And I need the extra help. I was able to isolate a small trace of chrono residue from the Blue Beetle. He's the one that set Booster off in the absurd mission to change the past. This Blue Beetle claimed to be from the distant future, but Skeet's indicators told us the chrono residue is absolutely pure. The only thing that kind of energy is found is towards the end of time, and that's where we're going. All I wanted was an, an, an interview and a story, not an arranged marriage. Hey, I'm not exactly thrilled either. Not to say I wouldn't, you know, if you wanted to. No. Whatever. Look, the last time I went with you somewhere, Rip, I ended up in prison in an endless time loop. I don't have uh, have another role like that in this, do I? Everyone has a role in this. This Blue Beetle, Rex Hunter, Supernova, they're all connected. They have to be. And they set this all up, Daniel. And while Skeet's attempt to pinpoint booster the strike signal, we'll have to take the fight to them. All right. All right. Hunter intends to deliver himself right to us. Let him come. History shows to be nothing if, and it shows Hunter to be nothing if not persistent. He won't go down easily. The Hunter is a gnat, and we should have taken him off the table months ago. You know the deal, Despero. Supernova has made it clear that Hunter's not the real target. To wipe the legacy of the Time Masters from the history books. Uh, uh, oh, one second. The history books shall prevail. History. <laughs> history. But yeah, basically then um, they're doing their own thing, going through Rip Hunter's time lab or what's left of it. As um, they're, basically they're told they have to deal with, um, um, with um, um, Booster. To take out Booster, you take out, you deal with Rip. So yeah, then they shatter the time sphere. Um, then we see Booster and, and, and Ted are, um, heading on out there and they, oh, Superman plows right through them. Oh. I don't suppose you have a kryptonite arrow fresh out. So now they're about to deal with more agents of checkmate as they're fighting them all off. But then, um, uh, turns out Ollie had been infected. And he starts to go after, um, Hawkman takes him down. They basically all start to fall. And Re and um, Max even makes um, Wild Dog shoot himself. No. So, yeah, they start to head out of there. And um, all of a sudden, then they use a mother box to transport back to um, to the decommissioned HQ of the Justice League International. And they decide, we got to get the band back together. Nice. Including one of my favorite characters, Dr. Light is involved. And she was there in the very first issue of the Justice League International. 
as we see Superman and uh, Max are on board the uh, Brother Eye satellite. And they actually brought Dr. Light there um, to be a new power source. I began my career by bringing you into the Justice League, Kimio. It is only fitting you're here to witness my greatest success. So, yeah, they make their way, and Booster and Ted make their way to the Batcave. But, um, and, but um, Booster is um, freaking out. Why? He doesn't realize it, but it's because the, um, was the time sphere shattered, um, things are starting to affect him now. Time is starting to catch up with him. Ooh. They end up then meeting up with... Um, Mr. Miracle. Yep, Scott. Yep, and they save him. They get him out of there. They meet up. It turns out Fire and um, and Guy okay. are yep are in the mountains as Ice is trying. You know, Ice is trying to talk with um, um, some of the gods that she's you know been connected Wait, Ice to. Ice Fire. No, no, Fire is here first. Like Beetle. Hey, Fire. Sorry about the water. We thought you were dead. I'm alive too. That's great as well. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I'm, I've heard about the boys. I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry to hear about Barda too, Scott. So basically, yeah, they're there with Ice, and yeah, they were asking you know to meet up with the um 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 you know her people and everything. And wow, they, her no, people! Wow, Robert, can't believe you. That's what I said. That's what I said. There's been tension since Tora left her people's land. Oh yeah, they, they went to see the Norse gods, and they said no. Wow. Oh, I um, love it. We don't need gods, Tora. We got the Justice League. And the Justice League is about to save about saving the world. Guy Garner giving a pep talk. I guess hell's freezing too. <laughs> Ellie, I, I do not like her design. It's a it's a skin suit, but a tank top over it. It's it's for modesty. Yes, she looks very modest right here. Okay, not there, but normally <laughs> it's what. Do you get what I mean, right? Because it's skin tight, but she doesn't like the idea of people seeing her, the cleavage, so hugged, you know, hugged on it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> hey, I, hey, I like that about her. That says a lot about her and just her design, wouldn't you say? I think so, too. But it's, I can find something more modest that's not skin tight. It's still just an artist decision. That's true. That's true. But um, meanwhile, they also go to rescue Martian Manhunter from um, the the tower, the old tower that um, Alexander Luther had been working on. He's dead, by the way. So yeah, they release Ooh. um John and they head over to attack Max. My my, the old gang back together again. It's like a dysfunctional family reunion. You do realize that you've only just saved me the time of hunting you all down individually. So yeah, leading to a big fight as um kill him, Superman, free your mind, Superman. Ah! Ah, poor uh -oh. Ollie. But yeah, then they free um Dr. Lyon, like, my children. He killed my children. So yeah. Um uh, Max is just taunting them, and turns out Batman was there. He didn't die. What? Batman, we thought you were dead. Clearly, you should both know better by now. I was on my way to take back control of the satellite. Take control? You can't. I built it, Michael. I can. I can. So shut up and listen to. No, you listen to me. You try and take control now. Brother Eyes already reached Sentient. You keep it alive, and even if we stop Max, the satellite will keep going. You can't save this toy, Bruce. All right. Oh, I love this. And this is checkmate, John. No, no more games, Max. I'm playing for keeps. Anyone else? Hmm? Turns out, oh yeah, Max murdered Lois. But then we see um, to, um, Booster's dad show up with the rest of the Time Stealers. Oh. Time Stealers? Yep. Oh, what was that? I heard an O on your side. Mm. One of these men will kill Blue Beetle, and it's not who you think it is. It's me. 
This is bad. You mean this whole situation hasn't been bad? Time being altered has been extremely troubling, Daniel. But seeing your thing, the time sphere your descendant used to save Blue Beetle, the time sphere boots are originally traveled back to the 21st century and shatter like this. If we don't stop this now, Booster Gold will be erased from history. Booster will be erased how? I detected some white primate hair within the shards, Daniel. It is obvious the, um, and that the ultra humanite has destroyed this time sphere, believing it will keep Michael and Ted Storr stuck in this alternative history. Obviously. But those idiots didn't realize that Booster borrowed this time sphere from the 25th century. <coughs> he took it from the, the from the museum weeks before he was to first become Booster Gall. I'm sure Michael intended on returning it, Mr. Hunter, just like he intended on changing the past without changing the future. So now it's like, uh, what comes first thing, right? The chicken or the egg? Like, we not only have to somehow convince Michael and Ted to return Ted to the past, we have to put a time sphere back in the, the museum so Booster Gold's origins is, re is reinstated. I'd say we have a relative hour or less to do before he fades from reality. So, yeah, I, I pulled you and Daniel out of the time stream prior to the change to protect you, Rose. I also need your assistance. What again? Yes. And what? Again? Yes, Daniel. Again. Skeets, <laughs> you need to stay here and locate Mike on Ted. Ted always, ain't always had his head on straight. He probably has already realized what needs to be done. Like, sir, you're not, you're certain there's no other way? There's no other way to save Michael's friend? I really wish there, and there was. I really do. But we can't change the past, Skeets, no matter how much we want to. I know that all too well. Again, see, this is why I like this version of Rip. He's you. You understand why that he wants to. He's not. He's putting on a tough guy act, but deep down, it pains him. Yeah, he's had a tough job. Yep. What are you doing here, Dad? That's your dad, only by blood. So yeah, they're all <laughs> fighting them out. It turns out the rest of the time stealers Steeler, are going down fast. Why? This is not them at their prime. For example, um, the Sparrow. This is when he was just more normal looking, and his fin was this way, not like a mohawk, and he got all buffed up muscular. Ew. Yeah. Like, I've got the Justice League with me, and you've got a handful of allies plucked way before their prime. And if you don't, and if you stop us, let's say when you stop us, what then? I saw, it, and I saw it. my dad was bad. Get off the com and the computer, Ted. That di uh, that dial-up is costing me by the minute. Maximilian, a a million. I, I I will restrain the blue beetle, sir. But per your orders, we he will not be killed. Well, that's a relief. Only hurt very very badly. Booster, ah, booster, what's da ah, hit? Playing possum, son. That's one of your new tricks, isn't it? Trying to get everyone to underestimate you. What? No, Dad. Why? Why are you doing this? Skeets. Oh, man, I could kiss that golden butt of yours. A pleasure, Mr. Cord, <laughs> sir. But it's far, far, it's been far too long, hasn't it? How's the bug? I always enjoyed our chats. And thank Babbage and Babbages. I will be able to release something after all today. Come get some. During our last competition, I was unprepared, Maximilian. I am ten times advanced as you are in the skills of Android decimation, Skeets. I am faster and smarter than you. That may be true, but all robots rust. A, chem a chemical of a blend of chemicals Mr. Hunter whipped up for me. Consider it my excrement if I were capable of such things. What do you want with Ted? I'm not going to kill him, son. And I'm going to watch you do it. Half of the Justice League are dead in this t t new timeline you've made. Dozens of heroes, thousands of people, and you think you can fix that with a quick trip through time? Pull the wings from the right butterfly? That's what and that's what you do, isn't it? Nightwing, Kyle Rayner, Lois Lane. Are their lives worse and more wor yours and, and worse yours, Mr. Cord? Drop him. Answer my question. Don't listen to him, Beetle. We'll find a way. Like you found a way to make a big name for yourself by jumping back to the 21st century? Like you found a way to become a respected member of the Justice League of America? Like you found a way to save Barbara Gordon from a life in a wheelchair? How do you know all that? Your son's more of a man than you'll ever be. You know how true that is. Skeet, and Skeet, you are in pain. Something's wrong. Your history is unraveling. Not me, my father. 
How can he possibly know all this? Silly, silly boy. Did you really think it was your fool of a father who could do all this? He's a stupid man. A man who's never used his mind. And a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Oh, dear. So they actually go back. They deal with um um. They actually knock out Brainiac 5, revealing that it was his <laughs> ring that landed in the pod and would have been to be the same ring that Booster would use. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it turns out that Legion Flight ring that Booster has, it's Brainiac 5's. Ooh. Uh, m- 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 Mr. M- m- mind, how is this possible? We beat you. We saved the 52. You should have had the courage to finish the job then, Michael, leaving me to Dr. Savannah. Really? And you're actually surprised I was able to escape captivity? I am eternal! Mr. Mind's controlling your father. I mean, he could do much more than that now, Ted. I remember Mind mind as an advanced telepath at best, albeit one that would spin inescapable silk. But he's never had this kind of power. Mr. Mind has evolved. Savannah doused him in suspendium, triggered some kind of metamorphosis. He used skeets as it basically explains what happened in 52. No more conversation. Your time stream and the multiverse belong to me now. And I'm so very hungry. Then again, why shouldn't I be? I'm eating for a thousand. Ah, crap. Why don't you fellas pick on somebody your own size? Force feel. By far the best thing I've ever stolen. But yeah, <laughs> they then do a rope-a-dope. With a little help from Skeets, they end up knocking him down. And it's not fair. May, um, must make my escape. <clears throat> all right, all right. Hold it right there, you little worm. And stepped on by Ted. Unfortunately, Black Beetle <laughs> starts to win out. They take out B. So many others are down for the count. And then, um, but Ted realizes we ha- we all have our time, Mike and Michael. Our moment. I've got no regrets about mine. All I wanted for us to be together again, Ted. I'm so sorry. Skeets, I have faith Dr. Hunter will come through. Ted! Uh, when you think of me, please remember to smile. Bwaha. No, I can't let you do this. Ted, who are you? I, I, I'm Jaime Reyes' greatest enemy. I'm the Black Beetle, and you can never go back. If you stay here, Jaime will never come into being. He'll never take her away from me. That's what Mr. Mine promised. Don't you see? You can't die. I have to. Now, it turns out to stuff about Jaime, it's bullshit. Who's her anyway? His wife or something? No, no, no. He's lying. This was meant to be a swerve. And later on, one of his friends, the, the siblings, the sister died and the brother left with his own scarab on him. But And that was meant to imply that he was Black Beetle. But in a later series, which we'll get to way down the line, we actually find out this is all, uh, what he's saying here is all bunk. Wow. All bunk in the trunk. Ted, Ted, please. Ted! To be concluded, and Booster Gold, one million, which was from the what? DC one million. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, yeah, that was something that they did a while back called DC one million, which is basically they jumped way ahead into the future. Oh, hold on. Why did it do this? Who is Peter Platinum? Ted ends up falling through until he ends up in the year one million. Now that's what I call pure platinum. And it turns out he, this guy's just basically being like Booster. Please, please tell me I'm not related to this guy. Thankfully, sir, my scans indicate no Carter family DNA in this Peter Platinum. So basically, this guy is trying to do what Booster did, but he says, I'm doing it right. I'm doing it properly. In other words, this is implying that all Booster would ever be known as is still the big joke to the point where this guy decides to try and be his, um, you know, his replacement. <laughs> of course, he's trying to say, he's trying to say, hey, I'll pay you money, to which, of course, Booster feels like, you want to judge me? Judge me, but at least I tried. I would have given my life to fix it. Fix what? You found me, right? You're here for my cut of the profit. I'm going to give you 5% royalties. How does that sound? You'd be richer here than you'd imagine in the 21st century. This can't be it, Skeets. This jerk can't be all I give to the future, inspiring someone to master the con I never could. What about 10%? Then Rip and the others show up, and, um, yeah, Sean. 
He then shows up. He tells him, Ted Core did your job. He saved all time. I warned you what would happen if you traveled down this road with Barbara Gordon. But you wouldn't listen. You insisted on learning by example. And you, Peter, won't be using my technology for financial gain any longer. Not again! <laughs> he took away his abilities. By example? Is that what Ted was for, and for, and for you? Just another example? Michael, I'm sorry. You're never sorry, Rip. Sometimes I wonder if you're even human. You don't have a life outside this time sphere. You hide who you are from uh, who you are. You have no friends or family. You have nothing. I've already lost my sister. I lost Ted, and I'm not going to be like you anymore. I'm not. And there are still wormholes that need ceiling booster. We need you. I just want to go back and to my to Xbox. I don't want this. And I just want a story on booster gold. I didn't want Daniel. I guess that means we're not not the new time masters. No, Rip. We're not. I quit. So basically, he shows up there, and um, they deal with the um, Royal Flush Gang again. And eventually, then you know, they end up stopping him, and then uh, Ollie and um, Hal show up, and basically, like, or new hires. We were, we were already in town for the title fight and fight tonight. We're happy to stop by and help, assuming this wasn't a PR stunt. A stunt? Booster, relax. There's no need to get upset, but... Was it? I can't take this anymore, Skeets. I've saved the entire multiverse. I've saved all space and time. I'm receiving a high priority encoded and transmission marked urgent. It's from Michael. We need to talk. The cave. Now. Uh-oh. How does he do that? Without a power ring? Hell if I know. What do you want, Bruce? Sorry to interrupt your run-in with Green Lantern and Green Arrow. The reporters are saying they cleaned up your mess. Yeah, yeah, sure. My mess. Like always. I didn't hire them. I never did. That was Max. It was always Max. Sit down. I don't need another lecture. I know I'm an idiot, okay? I'm, I know I'm a self-centered moron who sold himself out ten times over. I trade my best friend for a toothpaste commercial. Isn't that what you said when I joined the, the league? I'm, I, I've heard the same speech from you back then. I should hang it up. Go back to my own time and be happy I've got a job as a janitor in some stupid museum. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe I will go back, and I'm going to pray to God I forget every second I've been stuck in this 21st century. <sighs> Where did you get these? From a from a camera, the Joker had on him the night he shot and paralyzed Barbara Gordon. I held onto them for years. When you showed up, you were wearing the same and you weren't wearing the same uniform. You were younger, so I waited until you grew up. What's going on? What are you doing, Michael? I'm. I tried to save Barbara Gordon from getting shot. I couldn't do it. I tried to save Ted, too, but instead I tied a big knot in time. I couldn't save anyone I wanted to, because I am a joke. A joke? I don't know what you're up to, but I can see the pain and punishment you took from the Joker. You were literally tortured. You risked your life for a chance she might walk again. I can't stop people from changing the past for the worse, but I can't change, I can't do it, but I can't change it for the better. And I can't let anyone know. I swear, I had the Royal Flush Gang, but God, it's driving me crazy. Let the world think you're crazy if that's what it takes for you and to be the best you can be, Michael. You proved me wrong. You proved yourself wrong. If you ever need someone to talk to, I might not be Ted Cord, but I'll listen. That, that'd be great, Bruce. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. Rip, <laughs> I'm back. It's, I'm back, okay? I'm back in. It might not be fun to live and to live like this, but I know there's a job out there that needs to be done. And Mikey, Mikey, <gasps> like, wow, your new uniform is awesome, Michelle. And your guy's time lab is unreal. Mr. Hunters and Skeet said it was it was all to support you and your time traveling adventures. I'm so proud of my brother. She really is, sir. She wouldn't stop going on about everything you did to help her and your mother. But you were so right about the 21st century being fun, Mikey. People are so we're so uptight and judgmental where we come from. This looks interesting. Rip, it can't be. My sister's died. Yes, she did. So what the hell's going on? She looks just like she did when she was killing the explosion. I grabbed Michelle right before it went off. I updated her on what you were doing and told her you were ne you needed help. You changed the past? How? What about all the time storms and all those time master rules? Michelle was born in the future, Booster, just like you. I figured there might be a loophole because of it. Everything in the past is set in concrete. The future is wide open. You took a risk? 
I never take risks. I thoroughly calculated to the last millisecond. I know this hasn't been easy, and I'm not going to make it any easier. But she will. Isn't Skeet's new look cute, Mikey? Finally, somebody noticed. I noticed mm -hmm. the kind of stuff. It is her. All right, Michelle, let me start filling in on an operation. Time-hungry mind worms, the greatest villains throughout history. It's all on our list of things to do. You can tell me I, all about everything over lunch. How about a picnic in Paris, a, uh, AD? We can watch them finishing building the Eiffel Tower. Oh, that sounds lovely. I know. I'm not sure Rip designed a time for, for leisure. Knock yourselves out. Thanks, Mr. Hunter. We'll be back soon. Is, is it this button? We should buckle up for... Mm, keep it up, Dad. Yep. Rip and, and Booster is Rip's, uh, Rip's dad. What? Okay. Whoa. Here's how it works. Booster, it's a bit of a time loop thing. Rip trains Booster to become the best time master there ever was. And then Booster ends up fathering and raising Rip. And they would meet up some once in a while to have, you know, little banters back and forth about things. Right. No I one didn't is expect that. <laughs> no one. Oh, look at the little um hat on Skeet. Oh. No one is as sure of the exact moment the Carter family became the amazing began the amazing Time Masters, but it's thought to have dated back to at least the early 21st century. From that moment on, the members of the Carter family took to the responsibility of policing and protecting all of history against those who would exploit it. There was only one black sheep of the Carter family in the last 2,000 years, a young man from the 25th century who went by the name Booster Gold. He is the only documented Carter to ever have been a fraud, a failure, and a fool. That's why historians like myself find it remarkable that an all-recorded image of the Booster Gold had a smile on his face. Perhaps he was stupid as well. <laughs> and that's it for this arc. And that was the end of Jeff Johns' involvement, was it? How was it? Oh my gosh, I didn't expect that ending. And it was it was so good. It was so sad too. Oh my gosh. I know. Oh, right? You wanted me to cry. That's why you wanted me to read this. You did it on purpose. Yes, I did. Oh, you punk. I did the same thing with my brother, I understand. <laughs> um, but yeah, seriously. And again. We will still be going forward. There's still more stuff to do. In fact, the next four issues you have a bit with um, Chuck Dixon continuing on, leading in then to a two-parter by Rick Remender. But then going forward, it's entirely Dan Jurgis writing and drawing it all going forward. But yeah, though, but seriously, this was so brilliant. And again, this is my favorite take on Booster. Hands down, period. This is a booster I adore. And mm -hmm. do you see also why, as much as I like some aspects of him and the super by stuff, I still groaned at it? Yeah. Because, <laughs> especially in the first mini, where he was a buffoon of the worst kind. You cannot see that booster becoming this booster, could you? It, it'd be kind of difficult. You would have to, like, be like, oh, well, he went through a change or he's going through a change, that kind of thing. Except, no, this is Booster the way he's always been technically handled. But after going through a lot of shit, it's made him a bit more mature. But because you see what he is, he still cracks jokes, but he's not the type who, like, like he said, right, when Batman accused up, you'll sell off his best friend for a toothpaste commercial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that. It's just like, you know what I mean? Yes. And again, what do you think about with Rip? In a way, uh, he was right. He was right about yeah. everything. He has smarticle particles. <laughs> but am I right, though? It's like he was right about everything. That's the unfortunate thing, is. And unfortunately, it's more, it's less that t um, Booster is, I mean, he is mad at him. But at the same time, in fighting Rip, he's also fighting the very laws of time travel. <laughs> right? Yeah. And the twist. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so yeah. Good. Well, the other thing that caused him to save her is that 
It's that whole notion of someone got died in an explosion. You just pluck them out right before the explosion killed them so that everyone else thinks they're dead. You know, all that. But here's the other thing, though. Mm-hmm. I got to make this clear. And it's become the story point later. She had no idea that she, she uh, was believed dead. She has no clue about that still. She has absolutely oh. no idea that Rip had saved her from dying, that you know, Booster and everyone else thought she was dead. They ended up keeping that secret for a while. Oh. Yep. Um, and what do you think? And like I said, Black Beetle, I, I, you know what? Maybe I could tell you, I, you want me to tell you right now who he is? And you'll probably forget by the time we get to it way down the line. <laughs> do you want me to tell you? Sure. He's Earth 3 Booster. Yeah, I'm going to forget that. <laughs> yeah, so you know what? Yeah, he's from the crime syndicate Earth. Oh, okay. And now the whole idea of you know, all this stuff like, oh, I'm Jaime's greatest enemy. Well, once we have the final later, he's a troll who will make up origins just to throw, if it will get an emotional reaction from people. Wow. Oh, but I guess I, love that. I still love that moment with Ted and Jaime. I love that. That was such a sweet moment. <laughs> what well, wasn't it? Yeah. The I fact we were going to see more of Jaime. Disappointed. Well, we won't be seeing him until... Uh, let me see. Well, this is about Ted. Yeah, this is about... Because he's the best buddy of Booster. Not Jaime. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's been a comic with um, Jaime and Booster Gold. But it's probably uh, nowhere near as good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That was the Rebirth era. Ah. Wait. I thought in the Rebirth era, uh, Ted was still there. Oh, sorry. That's what I meant. was Ted. Oh, it's Booster and Jaime. No, there's never been one. Oh. So, <laughs> sorry. So why would people think we would ever have a live action version of that? Well, to be fair, the only time, other time they did it actually was in Smallville. Ooh, that Blue Beetle suit looks so bad. <clears throat> but um, I hope Jaime, the act they got for Jaime and everything, I hope he sticks around into the um, the new DCU. But, um, but yeah, so, so next time we go over with Booster, we've got... A bunch, and we'll we're gonna we'll probably be doing the um, first those next four issues I showed up. After that, we got the opening arc with um that Dan Jurgens works on, which actually lasted a good length. It's a good length. Then there's a couple of other tie-in books, you know, issues, and then after that, we have basically Jurgens has about three arcs that he has throughout all of this you know, for the initial run. Then he eventually is taken over by Keith Gibbon and J.M. DeMatteis, the, the Bwahaha guys. They take over for a good couple of um, issues. And then eventually, and all the while, Jurgens is doing a Time Masters um, a miniseries. And then eventually he comes back with a Flashpoint tie-in arc to wrap things up. But yeah, this book lasts for about, oh, say... Almost 50 issues. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's how long and popular this book was. And more so if you, when you add in the Time Masters miniseries. Also, I'll say this. Even when Jim DeMatteis and Keith Skipping got on board, they don't revert Booster back to being an idiot. It's a bit more like how they wrote him in the second Super Buddies mini. You know, him being smarter than he let on. Yeah. But yeah, so overall, what would you... Now, what would you rate this whole 12-issue run in general? Ooh. I think like um, an 8.5 out of 10. Oh, really? That's a bit down from... Because cause you rated the first arc um, a 9, 9.5. I did. Why, did this arc bring it down a bit? I think it did. From the Save Ted Cord stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's what's happening. And it did get a little convoluted towards the end a little bit. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah, but of course, Mr. Mind being involved, that makes sense with this being a follow up to 52. Yes, I, I will agree with that. Since you had to teach me all about that, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, you know, so that's all we've got in this one. We'll see you guys on the next one as we come over do more Boosterific. E, and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Yep. Take care. We. I take it you only got enough for the one, right? Yeah, I got church tomorrow. Uh.